3205. This male entire Shizu, it is so the main complaint is the eye, right? The right eye only? You don't know both, right? both eyes, huh? The complaint of both eyes. Uh, what, what is the problem? Uh, tearing? Tearing and red. Redness and tearing. And this one is, is, is more, is it? Yeah, this one serious, more serious. Uh, I think the owner applied her own eye drops and uh, it's much better to do right? Mm. So I just check for our cells. So I check for our cells using the fluorescent stain. Now before I check, you can see that there is a scar there. Lumbrock is uh, redoing it. That's from far, you can see a scar. I call it the central scar with the brown color. It's about uh, one o'clock. Can you see it? One o'clock. Uh, this is quite long already, so it's brown in color. And maybe another one. Coming uh, up. But, but the one o'clock one is, is, uh, is uh, obvious. Maybe there's another one at 12 o'clock. So I put a fluorescent ice, ice stain to stain for ulcer. If, if ulcer will be green, if not ulcer, it won't be any. The cornea will not be green. So we just wait once, about one minute. Not so fast. And uh, how about the left eye? Left eye better. Left eye, you can see the scar in the center, and uh, it's, it's a brown scar. But this, this, uh, she also has eye injuries. Injury, yeah. Last time, uh, the cornea. Due to the hair, sometimes rubbing against the uh, hair. I think no. the hair need to uh, need to do the grooming already. Yeah, actually the owner you can do it yourself and cut it off. Because grooming is too long, right? how long is the grooming? Two hours, two, two months, uh, two or three months. Uh, one, one month, two months. So now we check. Uh, if there's no green, that means there's no, no recent ulcer. No, no recent ulcer. Those are old ulcers. Huh? There's no green. So you check everything, including the lower, to the end, the lower part. So. And uh, from what I can see, this 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 dog has a central ulcer so in the center there. But these are all scars. Okay, so that's okay. Now this side, the left eye, you can see so there's no no green ulcer, but you can see the white scar. And these are quite old old scars. Now the trouble is that this dog has this hair, which they should cut every day better. Cut with all this hair, poking the eye. I bought it. Okay. So cannot wait for the groomer and they have to cut themselves okay. every uh, week or so that they will uh. okay. Then the other thing is the ears. Uh. Now you hold the ears and see whether the ears are infected. Uh. If the ears yes. are infected, then the dog will rub the eyes, is it? Will rub the ears and the eyes. Uh. So yes, the ears, sir. Yes. So the ears are infected, right? Yes. So if the ears are infected, right? We then also clean this part. You can see this pigmentation. Even. Okay, this is the third case of year after you do three three videos on. Yeah, the okay. third case. Now this is definitely a very long time. That's why the pigment is quite quite widely spread extensive. And uh, this shows that the, the this uh, Shizu uh, he's been doing for many years and now now he is eight years old. And I think what you have to eye drops uh, ear drops. Huh? Yeah. But it's quite painful, you can see. What ear drop is that? What's is the name of ear drop? It's from the vet there, huh? So there's some smell, but uh, this ear drop probably contains some painkillers. Huh? So there's not much pain. But it didn't solve the problem, so that's why the dog is still scratching. And look at this side. Now the other ear. The other ear. You see that. So this, this is a clue that this stretching has been going on for many years mm. uh, and uh, it becomes black. And uh, the, the, the itchiness is controlled by this uh, ear drops from the vet. It probably contains a steroid, but you can see the leg uh, here, you see the leg. Uh, then let's, let, let, let's see the reaction, you see. It's not very itchy or painful because of the application of ear drops. Uh. Now these type of cases, again, like I told the other owner, the best is to have the surgery to open up the ear canal and then we have solved the problem. Now there's operation.
to dig up straight away the ear canal, but you cut it out, you cut open the ear canal, vertical ear canal, so that there's ventilation, so that there's ventilation, there's ventilation, you see when you cut open the ear canal, that means it's like this, huh? this, this side wall is taken up, so any, any water won't be trapped, it just come out here. In fact, this drawing uh, shows that the side of the ear has been, the ear canal has been cut off. Normally, normally it's covered by a tube like that. But this drawing shows that it's been cut off. And when it's cut off, there's ventilation, water can flow out, air can go in, okay? So then the ear becomes, the normal ear will be like this. Okay. So any water will just flow out. Instead of being trapped now, now it's trapped inside the horizontal canal. It's L-shaped, but the ear canal. Okay, my can you